Hello guys, today we learn how to convert web API JSON string to data table in C -Sar. For this, we have required Visual Studio 2015 or higher version. Also, we need one Newton software JSON library which can be installed from the Get Package Manager. Let us see. Consider we have a client web API to get the list of employees. So our client web API URL is HTTP localhost. This API imply and list methods. And method name will is get method. And when we consume this web API then we get a data in JSON format like employee ID, name, salary. So that JSON is the collection of employee, means array JSON, JSON array. So our main motive is here to convert JSON array to data table. For consuming the, this web API, we need a SPX page or mbc application console application also you can consume from desktop applications so here i am consuming this web api through the aspx page so need to make one aspx page now let us see this real example open visual studio go to file menu and click website and visual c sharp and take sv.net mpt website and name of this website each convert json to data table and click on so you can see here your project convert json data table which created and there is one web config file now make a one a spx page so go to add click on add new item and choose web forms and web form name each here default.spx you can give any name like list of employee and click on add button so you can see now default xpx page which created there is design view and this is the code behind page so we'll make one now i have to write the code to consume the web api and get the data in json format and that json will be converted into data table now see first i make a method consume web api get method dot wait now i have to implement this method so write the code for this now need to add the namespace for data table system dot data for http client also need to add the namespace so first need to add to the package manager go to tools manage and go to browse also need to add newton soft library so put here newton soft json and install it now add the namespace like system net dot http and install it so here yes this will be installed installing and finished so go to this and now add the namespace for this http client now you can see system.net.http is coming now and click on this. 
so this will be added now also need to add name space for media type header so need this one okay json converter so need to add newton sub json for this so all the name misfaces i think will be added here now i have write a code see here async tax data table this method will be written the data table now here i have defined data table dt new data table and here we are consuming the web api through the http client so i have write where client equal new http client and client dot base address localhost 57489 and client dot default headers i have put dot accept dot clear same way also i have write here client dot default request header dot accept dot new and media type with quality header value will application json here where is where response equal to await client dot get things we get the response from the url api imply list dot configure wait here you have defined the configure await equal to false so whenever you use uh, spx web pages so there is some context here so need to add configure await false in the case of console application no need to write this avoid the deadlock situation now if response is success treasure code you will get the true getting the message then we get dynamic result await response content read as async so data will be saved in the results in the real that will be json format so here i have written one simple line code like dt data table converting json convert dot deserialize objects results we should getting from the read as async and type of data table so from this line of the code that json is string which are json array collection so will be converted in the data table so after that data table will be returned so then for need to show either it is showing or not data in data table so i have write some more code like we define grid view in the page so some changes i have done here like put data table x await need to add async matter so i have added here asyncs and grid view so need to add one grid view so click on this and add a grid view so i have added one grid view now i run this application and check whether data is coming or not so let us see also we can see here we get the error like a synchronous process may only start with the asynchronous header so need to put page async equal true in the page header so go to this and that default page now put here async page async equal true now run again now run again the applications so you can see our code will be run f10 press and press f10 by debugging line by line so you can see there is no data we are getting because the this api is not running so need to add need to run this web api also so go to web api sample to run this web api 
now again our client application like convert to json you can see you get the response the status got 200 and the response is, is successed equal to true now you will get the result here see you can see collection of records collection of employee in the json array format and that array will be converted into data table c and finally we can see the data here you can see there is four record like 101 item and sally there now run the application you can see data which get it from the web api converted into data table and that data table is binded in the grid view and grid view will show here data thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel